sometimes we accept information simply because we like the messenger or the messenger is charming or some other reason that's totally unrelated to the actual content of the message. People basically receive news that's consistent with the political beliefs that they already have. Repetition is a key factor too, something we call the mere exposure effect. So the more, the more you repeat something, the more true it seems to people. So something that gets repeated often, like a conspiracy theory, um, and in fact, uh, Hitler wrote about this in Mein Kampf, that basically the strategy was to repeat something often enough, and eventually people will believe it. Right, and so in the study itself, we try to develop what the media call a psychological vaccine uh, against fake news articles, for example, by saying, oh, you might have heard this or that, um, but be careful because that isn't true, and then here are the actual facts, sort of that follows the inoculation, the psychological vaccine format. And so when you can interfere and interject and sort of nudge people out of this autopilot system one um, automated type thinking into being a bit more vigilant, a bit more conscious, a bit more deliberate uh, by warning them, um, that might be the nudge that people need to sort of shift out of one mode into being a little more reflective. And so I think a general warning could help achieve that goal. Don't you, don't you know you